Welcome back to that dad guy. It's October 25th, 2023. And today's the day I'm going to tackle this office. And what I mean by tackle this office is I am going after these postcards that I've been sorting into binders for the last uh, two and a half years from direct swaps and official post crossing postcards. And we're changing it up. They are going to go in tubs like this. So this tub before was uh, filled with crayons and pencil crayons and stickers and things like that that my kids used when they were little. And uh, I've washed it up, I've emptied it and sorted some of the crayons and pencil crayons into bags and throw out pens that weren't working anymore or erasers and glue sticks that uh, had long been dried up or non-functional. So now I'm going to go through all of my direct swaps. I've got about 1,500 direct swaps over the last few years. And um, I'm going to take all those and sort them by country and then put them in those bins by country and maybe even sort them by uh, who sent them to me from that country as well, depending on uh, how ambitious I feel today anyways. So I thought what I would do is I would show you... Uh, the packs of cards sorted on the floor in countries when I get to that stage. Maybe even uh, do a little bit of a fast video to show you how I'm doing it. I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. You're going to see what you're going to see as we watch through this. The one thing I am going to do, though, is my official post crossing. I've got 500 of them. I'm going to leave them in the binders for right now because if I can take out 1,500 postcards, that still leaves me with 1,500 or at least the 750 sleeves, plastic sleeves, I can use for my official ones. And uh, I will continue to put those in binders for right now. That means I can still do that for a number of years and protect them that way. And then keep all my direct swaps and things separate and in these towers of bins. Uh, I think it's going to work. Let's find out. Okay, first thing's done. There are my official post-crossing postcards left. Those are the first 500. They probably will go into different binders after. Here are the binders that I have to sort. There are the three boxes of Halloween candy that we have set up for next week. Um, so yeah, so let's go through these binders, take all the cards out of them, and try to figure out what country they each belong to. Well, I started doing this. I was going to put it on the camera showing you be sorting them onto the floor, and then I realized you probably would see all the addresses and so uh, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> so uh, I'm sorting them this way. One thing, I mean, I'm just early on into taking them out of the binder so far. But one of the things that I am noticing the most right now is that uh, there's some people here that I used to direct swap with a long time ago that I'm not direct swapping anymore. So hopefully they're okay. Uh, you know, time goes on, you change who you're uh, sending messages to, or maybe your budget doesn't allow you to send what you once could. You know, that, that makes sense. That's, you can only send so much and to so many people. And so you kind of fall off the, the wayside of which ones you send to. Sorry, this one did not have a stamp on it. I know who it's from, but... Uh, trying to look at the location okay i know where it is from so yeah so there are some people here bringing up good memories though of uh people that i was trading with all the time and that uh i'm not anymore uh maybe one day they'll reach out again and want to exchange that would be nice if they did um and i know that there are some people here that i traded with that have now passed away so that's kind of sad too to see um cards from them uh, yeah, I am actually getting to uh, revisit a lot of cards. This may, it might take me longer than I originally planned to do. But I will take you along the journey as best I can. Right now, I am going to focus on the cards, and I'll get back to you. But I just wanted to let you know that, that there's a, the part of going back and resorting means you get to see some of these cards, what seems like for the first time, and revisit some of the friendships that you've had and that continue to have some of these ones right from the very beginning i'm still trading with all this time later on and i'm going to have stacks stacks of cards from those countries because those people have been uh, fantastic at trading with me so let me get back to okay i've finished the first binder of one two three four five six seven more binders to do uh the first thing i'm noticing that at 49 years old my back is getting sore from being hunched over onto this floor 
trying to put them in the piles that I've created for each of the countries. Uh, so I'm going to have to take breaks in between and try to make sure this goes right. But it's coming along. And there's some cool postcards that I've received. I'm pretty happy about that. Um, if you haven't seen all the postcards that I've gotten, go back and watch every video I've ever done on a Friday. You'll get caught up real quick. Well, maybe not real quick. All right, I'm a third of the way through the binders now sorting. Uh, there are a number of countries down there. And what do you think I have the most of? If it was official post crossing, you guys would all belt out Germany. And you probably would be right. Probably more cards come from Germany than anywhere else with the official post crossing. But through direct swaps and friends that I've met, where do you think the most have come from so far? All right, halfway done. 750 cards in. Uh, guess how many countries are represented so far? If you guess 44, that's what I've got so far. Uh, cards from 44 different countries in direct swaps. Pretty good. Word of advice, if you're sorting your postcards, you're just starting out and you're thinking about going the route of the binder, don't. <laughs> um, yeah, it's good for certain collections, but if you want to keep your massive collections together, don't wait until I have. Uh, this is a long process to go through all these cards, take them all out of the binders and then sort them. And then I'm going to have to create uh, cards for different nations that are set up here. Put them away. Don't wait till the end. Learn from my mistakes. Keep the binders for certain cards, your special ones, or I don't know what you're, what you're going to do. If you keep them by certain topics, you could do it that way. But if you... I'm only two and a half, almost three years into this hobby and have amassed 2,000 cards. It's a lot of cards. Start putting them in boxes right away. All right, I gotta get back. Okay, 1,578 cards later. Here they all are, tagged for the countries. There's 55 different countries represented <laughs> represented in the uh, direct swaps I've done. Uh, if you guess that number, you're correct. If you didn't, well, better luck next time. If you want to guess which country did I finish with having the most cards from, it would be that pile right there, that's the United States. And then the second biggest, I think, is that one over there, which is Finland. And then Canada, and then the UK, followed by United Arab Emirates, I think, is, is the top ones that are on the floor. There are some countries that are only one card that I've ever gotten from them. Um, yeah, it's a lot of work. Now I've got to uh, put them in bins so I can find them again. And I guess I, prob I would normally do it alphabetically, but some of them are, like these ones, are probably going to take a bin all by themselves in order to leave room for future stuff that comes. So let's do that next. Okay, I did it. It took three and a half hours to take all the cards out of the binders, uh, sort them by country, and then replace them in their home right here. Now you can see they are all in there. And they are sorted by country alphabetically. That may change as time goes on. Um, yeah, it takes up a lot of space. But now I have all those binders empty that I can use for my uh, post-crossing official cards as they come in. So I won't have to buy any more sleeves for a long time. And then even when I do get to the point where I have to buy sleeves again, then I'll be moving my official post-crossing into something more permanent. Um, I haven't used any elastics or anything like that to hold the nations together. I didn't want to damage the cards. I've just put recipe cards in between with the names on them and put them all in alphabetical order. For now, that seems to work. As more come in and I have to reshuffle, uh, we'll see what I have to move to. Maybe I'll have to move to a... Filing cabinet, something like that. I'm not sure. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. Hopefully you've learned a lesson from this is that if you're getting into post crossing or direct swaps and you're trying to hold on to your cards, I did a video about how people sort them. Uh, a lot of them use boxes. That is the way to go. Boxes are way better than the, uh, the binder system when you start getting a lot of them. And don't wait till the end. My back is killing me now. So I'm going to rest for a minute before working on supper, get this video out to you. And uh, yeah, then I got to get some reading done today. I haven't done that yet, so I got to do that. All right, you guys have a magical week.
What follow? You say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy?